I'm not sure if the video is going. Okay. Good day, everyone. My name is Precious Williams, and I am the proud founder and CEO of Perfect Pitches by Precious. And I am also the author of the number one bestseller, Bad Bitches and Power Pitches for Women Entrepreneurs and Speakers Only, and also the companion workbook that debuted at number one on June 16, 2020, Bad Bitches and Power Pitches, the workbook. So today, I just, um, I woke up just so incredibly happy, not because of successes. That's not why I woke up incredibly happy. I woke up incredibly happy because I have love in my life. I have a support network. I have the dream team. And these are the people that will be with me whether I crash and burn again. And I admitted to my 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 queens, my bad bitches and power pitches, my ladies who launched sisters, that I hadn't been sleeping. You know, I've been working so hard, run, 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 go, 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 that I hadn't been sleeping. And so my doctor gave me, you know, medication that's finally allowing me to sleep. And in between trying to work through all of that. You know, when you when you when you have sleep medication and, you know, I suffer from bipolar disorder and severe PTSD, in case you all didn't know that, um, even in a time like this, you know, I need to rest. I need to rest. And so my support network and my ladies who leverage sisters and my BBs and PPs have been pushing me to rest. And it's not easy to rest when so many opportunities are coming your way. You don't know how to say no. You think it won't come back. And that's a scarcity mindset, right? That's scarcity. And I'm, I, I live in abundance. So in order to live in abundance, I have to take care of myself too. So I wanted to share that with you today. Because we've already talked about the dream team that you should have, your support network who will be with you ride or die. But I also want to share with you something for entrepreneurs and speakers especially. Over the last month or two, and I'm sorry if I get emotional, I've been working with the people I've always wanted to work with. I am not taking on people just because they can afford to pay me. That's not it. I'm working with the women and men I want to work with. And if you all are commenting, I can't see your comments, but I just want you to know, thank you for being here with me. Too often, I was just taking on people who just wanted to work with me, not fully vetting, not fully going through the process. And I'm telling you, it makes a difference. It makes a difference. I love having my coaching sessions with my clients because they're ready and they're hungry and they're coachable. And they know I'm gonna bring in the funk and I'm gonna bring in the noise and I'm gonna transform some things in their mind about what is possible in a time like this. So for all of you, finding the tribe that fits your vibe is amazing not just who comes at you who is your ideal people to work with and we've all made the mistake of just taking people you know it might have been that time in a month where you just you know I need to take anything no having had to refund money to people that I did not want to work with was painful but it needed to be done so as the killer pitch master I create killer elevator pitches, media pitches, investor pitches, and speaker pitches. I write them for my clients, but I also teach them how to say them and to when to send it out, who to be working, like all of that goes into what I do. I work with a lot of speakers who want to be hashtag booked and busy, but they don't know even know how to get started. They're, they're seeing all these people saying, oh, I can get you booked in, you know, very few days. Are those the right, have you done the, the work? to know who you really should be working with. A lot of us think, oh, I just want the high-end clients. Well, some people need to be nurtured to work with you. They need some low-end ways to get in. And I'm not just talking about free, I'm talking about low-end, where you can nurture them, 
So when they get to this level, you already have something for them. When they get to this level, you have something for them. That's a very different way of thinking about it. Instead of just saying, just buy my high-end product. People need to be nurtured. People need to be nurtured. People need to be nurtured to work with you. If they're going to get to that high end, we, 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 listen, we've all been sold this bill of goods. Oh, be a six, you know, be a six figure coach. Da, da, da. There's levels to this. And some of us have been to six levels, six, six figures before. That is not the problem. It's also changing your mindset to know that the right people will find you because you're attracting them with the proper words, the proper language, speaking to your ideal client, not everyone. You don't need everyone to be your client. I promise you, you really don't. You need the right people. If you want to know how I, how I, you know, and I don't want to use the word manifest because I know it's a hot topic these days, but how did I get NBC Universal? How did I get LinkedIn, Google, Microsoft, all of those? Those are the, those are the big names. You know who means more to me? My individual clients who are seeing success because they didn't think it was possible before. Because they had been sold those bill of goods that didn't work out. There's a process to working with me. I'm not just going to write a pitch and send you on your mirror a little way. I'm not Fiverr. I go as deep because I've been trained by the best. Ty Goodwin, Wendy Y. Bailey, uh, Danielle Fitzpatrick Clark. Um, the, and there's the, the, the names go on and on. So when I tell you. I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. I am not for everybody, and I'm cool with it. Why did I name my book Bad Bitches and Power Bitches? Because I knew it would ruffle some feathers. But the tribe that fits my vibe knew I was talking to them. Do you see me? We eye to eye in these streets. It's hashtag thankful Thursday. You know what I'm thankful for? That I have the clients I always wanted. And no, they don't have to be famous. There are some people y'all have never heard of who are getting that coin, getting them corporate training, getting those, getting those speaking gigs. Not everybody wants to be known by everybody. Some people only want to be known by the right people. Some people come to me so scared they got to be perfect. I'm like, I create perfect pitches. You don't need to be perfect. In fact, I, um, I had a coaching session with a man yesterday. A man. Like, you know, I really specialize in helping women entrepreneurs and speakers, women who've already been successful, but, you know, are transitioning and want to write a book. Da, da, da. I help with, I don't help write the book. Let me be clear. That's Sharon Monet, Pen Legacy. Listen, we had two number one bestsellers together. What I'm saying is the wording, how you connect with people, how you attract people to you. I'm a world-class master communicator. I've been speaking since I was 16 years old. 16! I'm 41. That's 25 years in this game. Please believe who I, I am, who I say I am. So the great thing about what you are and what you bring to the marketplace, sometimes we think if we follow those big gurus, I'm not going to name their names, but you know who I'm talking about, that that's the key to, key, key to making it. No, no, no. Because a lot of what you're doing is regurgitating their information. Have you? What, what if you synthesize it to make it your own? I didn't pay to get here. I went my own way. You can have the greatest of gurus. And when the money stops, that stops. I am not looking to be the next anybody, not even Oprah. I want to be the first Precious Williams. And just like Frank Sinatra, I want to do it my way. My job is not to make you sound like me. I know I'm gregarious, I'm in your face, I'm ridiculous at times. With one tooth in my mouth. The truth is, I want you to be the best you. And if you struggle with how to attract the tribe that fits your vibe, I'm here for you. I'm here. And that's why I do these videos to share what I do in the world, but also to Go against conventional wisdom. Conventional wisdom says take pictures with celebrities and people will take you more seriously. That's great. They get pictures taken with them all the time. What have you done to really make yourself stand out? Can you stand on your own when those people don't no, no longer rock with you? Can you do that? I had to do that because those same people kicked me to the curb years ago. 
Have you ever made a mistake and thought your life was over and the people you thought would be in your corner turn their back on you? And so all you have is God and the vision he put on your heart and you decide I'm going full force. I'm going. So when you hear me talk, it's not about just saying things just to say things. No, I come with a purpose and an energy and a funk and a noise. So how do you find the tribe that fits your vibe? Do you know who you are? Do you know who you are? Do you know what truly makes you you? I always say, who you are is more important than what you do. Too many of us are living in letting our successes reflect, be, be the, the, the main thing of who we are and it's not. Those are great, but they don't keep you warm at night. You know what keeps me warm at night? I have a support network who would have called me at 2 o'clock in the morning. Get your butt up, precious. Now go back to sleep. Just want to make sure you were asleep. Thanks. But that's love. Making sure I'm asleep in these streets. That's love. Making sure I'm taking care of myself. Because success does not stop illness from happening. Getting proper rest. Um, uh, Kim Manning. I love her. I love, 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 love of her. She has been talking to me and preaching to me about self-care. And I know, Kim, this may not sound like much, but this morning when I woke up, I put a moisture mask on myself, right? And for 30 minutes, I just let, let it sink in. And I didn't do anything. I wasn't on the internet. I wasn't doing nothing but just resting and chilling. And it felt awesome. And I feel like my skin looks popping in these streets. And that was self-care to me. You know, getting in a bubble bath and not being on electronics, not trying to keep up with the Joneses, not trying to be like, oh, she's doing that. I need to do that, too. I don't have to do shit that she does. And then reminding myself, walk it like you talk it. Walk it like you talk it. Walk it like a talk it would, walk it like a talk it would, walk it like a talk it would, walk it like a talk it. And then I want to share this with you. I debated whether to bring this up because it's it's kind of controversial, but I wouldn't be me if I didn't speak truth to power. I do participate in free trainings. I do participate in, in certain things because I'm speaking to my tribe. And if my tribe is in the room, what I'm doing is, is proven to the people that bring me there, that this is why you should bring me because I bring difference. What I do not like is when people assume that I'll do everything for free. No, I won't. I won't. And the assumption is a problem for me. The assumption that I can create innovative programs, the assumption that I should be grateful for exposure, the assumption that, no, I've been a professional speaker for 25 years. Telling me about exposure means nothing to me. And I just want to acknowledge that because there's so many people who will throw exposure at you without doing enough due diligence on you to know that you've had exposure and you've made the most of opportunities and you didn't pay to get there. Now, I'm not saying that I don't want to be in magazines and stuff like that. Or whatever. Of course I do. But don't insult my intelligence by assuming that I'm new to this when I'm true to this. And so there's nothing wrong with taking free opportunities to teach, to train at the places you want to. But if people are always making you feel like you have to do things for free, you have to do this for free because you're black, you're a woman, you'll never have this opportunity again. I ain't with it and I'm not going to let people tell me I should be with it. And so opportunities have come my way where people may want a whole day with me and for me to do it for free. 
and I've had to check in internally. We talk about knowing your worth. And when you put forth your worth, there's no guarantee that people are going to respect it. And so the, uh, the, what people will want you to feel like is you should, and I don't have to. I don't. And exposure is great. If it's exposure to the right people. I ain't here for everybody. I'm not that girl that's for everybody. I'm not. I'm not the woman that's for everybody. So the reason why I say it's slightly controversial is because some people behind the scenes will say certain things to me as if I, I'm not out here doing my thing or that I should just be grateful when other people who look like me don't get, when, get paid and I should just accept and I refuse, whether it's coming from someone who looks like me or someone who doesn't. I choose what I would love to do for free. It should not be put upon me or any woman that she has to take that. And I won't. Some people may say, hey, you, you know, that's just the, the price. No, it's not. If, if I don't speak up for myself, if I don't know my worth, if I don't know what I'm bringing to the table, then I'm not going to let you tell me what I should be happy with. I'm 41 years old. If I was just starting out, maybe, maybe, you know, because again, this is not about not taking free opportunities to introduce yourself to a new audience. Understand what I'm saying. What I am saying is it should be for me to decide and not for you to ex expect me to take everything for free while other people can charge their worth and you don't bat an eye about it. I refuse. Don't come at me for free things and, ex and just expect me to do it. Ask me. Does this rock with you? And I'll make a decision. Some of the things that I do are for free because I rock with certain people. Because I love what they do. But the assumption that I should be for free when I'm speaking at the biggest companies in the world, you got to be out of your mind. If I don't have a personal relationship with you, don't assume anything. The exposure thing means nothing to me. I get exposure like that, I'm the killer pitch master. I slay all competition. Had a billboard in Times Square. Been on private jets. Please don't insult me because you think I'm just another black woman just hoping for an opportunity to be seen. Bump that. If we've learned nothing in social unrest, is that a lot of us, you know, can be trotted out for things, but be made to feel like I can't ask for more. Don't sell yourself shorts, my people. Don't sell yourself short. And just because someone doesn't know what you bring to the table, feel free to address that. Feel free to drop some tea on them. Drop that tea. Drop what you to bring into the marketplace. Drop it like it's hot. What? Drop it like it's hot. What? Drop it like it's hot. What? Drop it like it's hot. Like it's hot. I'm going to drop these teas on you. But I am not free for everyone. I'm not for everybody. Everybody, in case you don't think I know how to say the word. Everybody. I'm not for everybody. And neither should you. So in this hashtag Thankful Thursday, I want to thank all of my clients who rock with me, for my prospects who've taken me up on, you know, meeting with me and seeing what I could do for them. I thank you. I am with the tribe that fits my vibe. I'm with the tribe that fits my vibe. I bring something new and something fresh to the marketplace. And you should too. If all you want to do is regurgitate what the gurus are saying, good luck with that. See how far that gets you. If all you do is regurgitate what a Tony Robbins, a Les Brown, all of them, that's cute. You have a picture with them? That's cute. I do too. You don't see it on you don't you don't see it on mine. You don't see it on my social media. You don't see it. It's, uh, it's unnecessary. The focus is you, not who just you associate with. And again, if you get it, great. But make it work for you and not just you're an extension of them. Please don't do that. Stand on your own two feet and make them come to you. Right? So for all of you watching this morning, it's hashtag thankful Thursday. Thank you for making me number one, that my workbook, the number one bestseller in the country.
thank you. It's a workbook. Workbooks don't usually go to number one. And I did. So I've had two number one bestsellers. Shout out to Sharon Monet, hashtag Pen Legacy Family, Kenyatta, Tanisha, Tony Moore. Shout out to my Ladies Who Leverage sisters with the proud uh, creator, uh, Kelly Charles Collins, Laura D. Harver, Cindy Constable, uh, Chrissy Das. Um, I, I know I'm forgetting. So, uh, D uh, Diani Pafunde. Um, I'm just thinking of all these women. I want to thank the Bad Bitches and Power Pitches uh, Facebook group for always showing me love. I want to thank my clients, uh, Candy, Dr. Natasha, um, Kendra. Oh my God, I have so many and I can't remember them all. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. But I, you know, like if you work with me, drop your names in the comments. Just know it's hard to remember everybody, right? I want to thank Brad at Automation Links for creating my website and making sure that I stand out in a crowded marketplace. I want to thank Jess Hervey of Mocha Business Services for handling my social media. I want to thank Lisa DeTofu for handling my relationship management and making sure that my clients are, you know, getting brownies and um, a hard for me on a monthly basis to make sure that they know that I care about them. They are not dollars to me. They are truly, they truly mean a lot to me. I know I go above and beyond. I know I share a lot of myself because I don't want to, I don't want you to ever feel average around me ever. I don't ever want you to feel average. I don't want you to feel like you're getting the short shrift. I want to thank Latrice. Um, I want to thank Liz. I want to thank Danielle Fitzpatrick, Clark, Ty Goodwin. Um, I want to thank Coach Wendy Y. Bailey. I want to thank all the people who've been in my life, making sure that I'm creeping on a come up, you know, in my game. Yeah, I, I promise you, y'all haven't even seen how big this is about to get. Thank you for loving me through the hard times. Thank you for loving me through the flush times. Thank the Bowery Mission Women's Center. Thank Bottomless Closet, Dress for Success Worldwide. Thank uh, Sarah Zambudo. Thank uh, Rajiv. Uh, thank, um, oh my goodness, I just feel like, uh, thank Donna. Thank all of these wonderful people who've given me an opportunity to be myself and not try to change me into a carbon copy of them. Thank you all. I love you. Thank Kimberly Manning uh, for being just being an absolute delight. I, I there's so many people I want to thank. Daryl Jennis. I want to thank Charlotte Howard. I want to thank Louise Long. I want to thank all the people. I want to thank Ikaba, Jerome Hutchinson, Hutch for providing me with an opportunity to speak to his group next week. I want to thank Wise24, who I'm speaking with twice today. I want to thank um uh, God, elite conversations, Daryl. I want to thank them for handling my podcast, pitching my ass off podcast. I want to thank the C Suite Network, Jeffrey Hazlett, um, Teresa and Tricia. I want to thank all the people who rock with me, and I thank you. And so I don't want to take up your time just saying thank yous, but rock with me. I don't mind doing videos. I don't mind coming on camera. Let's do this. Let's thug it out. Show me, tell me why you're thankful. What about this video really speaks to me? Will you like, comment, and share it with the people you know it needs to be with? Speak to them. Let them know why they should watch this. I'll, po I'll uh, put it on my YouTube page too, okay? Um, if you want to get more of these sort of, you know, musings by Precious, they're on my YouTube page too. You know what I mean? So I love you all. Thank you all for rocking with me. It has been a pleasure. Find the tribe that fits your vibe. It'll make your job so much easier. And really put in the work to get to where you want to go. It is not based on the gurus. It is based on what you put into. And if all you're being told is something you can find on Google, get out of the program. It's not going to work. I promise you. It's not going to work. I want to thank my client, uh, Grace Vander Cruz, who you know, got booked uh, and she was speaking this past week and I was watching her and tears literally fell from my eyes. I want to thank Dr. Natasha who, you know, got to do her thing with Microsoft and they, and they want her back. This is the kind of stuff that happens when your heart is pure. You want your clients to win. You heard? Thank you for letting me be myself and letting, letting you be a part of my tribe that fits my vibe. I love you all. If there are no more questions, if there are no questions, I'll move on. Um, if you like something I said, just drop it. I mean, like, comment, and share this video. 
I love, love, love you all. Are there any questions before I go? I ain't really trying to keep y'all here all day. Y'all know I go in. I know everybody wants to do three and four minute videos. I do that um, on, a, on another platform. But I truly believe that some things need to be explained a little bit more, okay? So if there's no, are there any questions before I go? Before I let you go, before I let you go. If not, it has been a pleasure. I love you all. Mwah. From the bottom of my heart, I'm thankful Thursday. Today is my dad's birthday. Yes, my dad. My dad's birthday is June 18th, 2020. And if I am 41, he is 64. He had me at 23 years old. Okay? So, I love you all. Take care. Bye.